Hola, semana 2, lección 2, gramática, página 12 a 14. That means page 12 to 14. Página 12 a 14. Ok. Um, this is gramática for lección 2, para la lección 2. Lesson 2. El hijo, la hija, los hijos, articles and nouns, gender and number. Yay! A, uh, Spanish, like English, has systems of articles. <laughs> Wonderful. In English, the articles are the, or the, the definite article, and a, an, and some, the indefinite articles. In Spanish, however, each article must also reflect the gender and number of its noun, a person, place, thing, or concept. Oh, boy. It has to reflect the gender and the number of its noun. Here's an example. Profesor, that means male professor. So, el profesor is the professor. That's the definite article. El profesor, the professor. Then, un profesor, a professor, is an indefinite article. See, a and some indefinite article. Professor, excuse me, profesora is female professor. And la profesora the professor, una profesora, a professor. I hope that fixed that up a little bit. Here are the plural forms. Note the articles. El profesor. El profesor. Becomes los profesores. Or unos profesores. And la profesora, which is singular, Becomes las profesoras or unas profesoras. There's S's on there, okay? Notice here for the, the, the male is ES at the end and ES at the end. Over here they just have, they have S, S. The paragraphs that follow will explain more about the system. So gender in Spanish is purely grammatical. It's purely a grammatical concept. All nouns have genders. Gender, whether they represent people, places, things, or concepts. Gender is either masculine or feminine, but it does not always mean that the noun is viewed as having masculine or feminine traits. So some words you're going to see them, and that doesn't mean that it has traits that are male or female. It's just that's the way they, they assign them those things. The nouns for all humans and most animals are assigned... Grammatical gender based on sexual gender, okay? It said most, all right? The nouns for most objects, things, and concepts have gender based on their word endings. As you are introduced to nouns, you should make a mental note of their gender, okay? At different points throughout the textbook and workbook, you'll also learn rules of thumb for determining gender. Letter C, la letra C. In addition to gender, all nouns also have number. Have a number. That is, they have they are singular or plural. So check this chart out right here, okay? Definido and indefinido means definite and indefinite. They're talking about definite articles and indefinite articles. I love English grammar. Good grief. So masculino looks a lot like masculine. Feminino looks a lot like Feminine, okay? So, singular means single, singular, and plural is plural. Same thing over here, okay? These are cognates, y'all. Okay, so, for el secreto, that's um, the article for male, el secreto ends in an O, and then the plural, and that's singular, and then the plural of el secreto would be los secretos. That's how you would say a bunch of secrets, a lot of secrets. El secreto is like, you know, the secret and los secretos are. Los secretos are the plural form of many secrets. So here it's un secreto. And then over here it's unos secretos. That's the plural of that. La carta, we already know that's um, the letter. That's what Don Fernando's been having, uh, that, that letter. That's what this whole show is about. 
Las cartas. So they talk about more than one. Una carta, it's one particular one. One carta, one letter. Unas cartas, certain letters, okay? So, D, it is, letra D, it is unreasonable for you to expect to master the system of general, excuse me, gender immediately or to always use the correct article. But here are some rule of thumbs to get you started. Here's the first one. A noun that refer to male beings and most nouns that end in O. Nouns that refer to male beings and most nouns that end in O are masculine and gender. For instance, el hombre, el hermano, el concepto. Can you think of any other examples from this lesson or lesson one? Here's some. El esposo, see, it's at the O at the end. El hijo, that's the son, O at the end. These are all male. El hermano, that's a brother, and ends in the O. El matrimonio, ends in O, that's the matrimony, that's the marriage. Nouns that refer to female beings, and almost all nouns that end in, pay attention, A, I-O-N, like in lección, and D, like universidad, right, are feminine. So, these are some examples. La mujer, la hermana, la compañía, la relación, la universidad. See the D? What other words from this lesson or from la lección una follow the same rule? La esposa, A. La persona, A. La, that means feminine, abogada, A. La carta, A. And la historia, A. So those were examples from your vocab words about how these endings are. Nouns that have other endings and that do not refer to either male or females may be masculine or feminine. Their gender must be memorized. For example, el español in la serie, and so on. Of course, most rules have exceptions. Two words that you already seen are exceptions to, to the most nouns that end in an A rule. Here's one of them. El patriarca and el idioma. That means the patriarch and the language. You have probably noticed that for some nouns that refer to people, if the masculine ends in O, O, the feminine ends in A. Here's some examples. El hijo, that means the son. La hija, the daughter. El esposo, that's the husband, the spouse, the husband. La esposa, see, A, A, O, O. What other word pairs of this kind appear in this lesson? For other nouns that refer to people, if the masculine ends in a consonant, the feminine has a final A. So, un profesor, this is the masculine, it ends in a consonant letter, that's an R. So, for you to change it to a female, you would say una, so that is changing, una profesora, the R and the A, okay? You're just adding it to A. Un director, that's the consonant. But to take it, to make it to a female, una directora, okay? Many other nouns that refer to people have a single form. Gender is indicated by the article. So it's either el estudiante or un estudiante, that's the male. La estudiante or una estudiante. Nouns that end in vowel form they're plural by adding. These are the vowels that are making them plural by adding S. For instance, hijo, and that is a vowel, the O, so you would add the S. Hijo, hijos, that means many children. One, or it could also mean many sons. I'll just say many sons for now, but hijo means son, and hijos mean a lot of sons, or at least more than two. Nouns that end in consonant form, they're plural by adding ES. So, profesor, if you add ES, it makes them plural, profesores. Note, 
the following accent pattern for nouns that end in ION like lección, but when you make it plural, it's lecciones. Okay, so they don't have that accent. So, actividad A, masculino o femenino. This is asking you, is it masculine or feminine? Give the correct definite article, which is either el, la, los, las, for these nouns. Remember up here, they just told you, el and un is singular, los y unos is plural, la y una is singular, las y unas is plural. This group right here are masculine, masculino, in this group is femenino, this is feminine. So when you're doing these, for instance, personas, I'm not going to do all these, I will say them, but I'm not going to do these all. Hombre. So what would hombre be? These are one of your vocab words. Hombre is man. So how would you how would you add the correct definite article? Hombre is man. Up here they give you an example. Hombre is here and this refers to the gender for this is masculine. So it's el hombre. So that's what you would put here. El Hombre, okay, el hombre. Then, so like the modelo, mujer, mujer ends in an R, okay, but we're going to go up here, the nouns that refer to female beings, because a mujer is a woman, and almost all nouns that end in an A, I-O-N, or a D, They'll have the feminine, la mujer, or la hermana, la compañía, okay? So that article would be, la mujer. So the question to ask yourself when you're doing all of these, because this is, these are personas, these are people, okay? Lugares, these are places. Cosas are things. Conceptos are concept, okay? Concepts. So, as you go through all of these, you should first ask yourself, what is the word? Is it male or female? And then you have to ask yourself, is it singular or plural? Then you find the appropriate article that goes with that, you know, goes along with that. I'm going to tell you the words real quick, and then I'm going to end the video. So, hombre, mujer, estudiante, estudiante. They're telling you, though, for this case, that's male, female. Tíos, these are your vocab words, tías, director, directora, pay attention to the ending, clientes, in this case, they're male, abogadas, abogadas, compañía, universidad, oficinas, Ciudades, la hacienda, cartas, columna, memoria, modelos. Let me say that again, I'm sorry. Cartas, columna, memoria, modelos, futuro, tensión, futuro, tensión, relaciones, relaciones, Rivalidad. Rivalidad. So now you go back, give the correct indefinite articles for the same nouns. Modela is hija, una hija. Now go back and change singular nouns to plural and plural nouns to singular. Modelo is hija, you change them to hijas. All right. Oh, and um, we're not going to do this because I don't have that, so... Don't worry about activity B from grammar. Okay. Bye.